Touring Cape Canaveral Space Force Station and Patrick Space Force Base, Dr. Jill Biden joins children from military families at the Starbase Academy, a youth STEM program from the DOD. The First Lady's visit is part of her Joining Forces initiative, which the White House says has supported military families for 12 years. So we just met with some of the guardians working at the Cape and I had the opportunity to talk to them about the important work that they're doing. Lift off of Falcon Heavy and Psyche. Those Guardians just supported two launches in one day. Friday, a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket lifted off with NASA's Psyche spacecraft just nine hours before a Falcon 9 rocket launched more Starlink satellites. With more launches than ever on the Space Coast, the Space Force says it's closing the public viewing site on the north side of Port Canaveral. There was a car accident here following a launch attempt in July. Recent incidents highlighted an unacceptable level of risk to bystanders. While we understand the disappointment this closure may cause, we cannot compromise on safety. Hi. A United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket, like these boosters the First Lady walked in between, launched the first satellites for Amazon's internet constellation. John Jacobson from ACOE brought his wife and their dog to watch from the bleachers that will soon be closed. Here it's up personal and live and it's really, really cool. This viewing area officially closes to the public on November 1st. We have a list of other locations the military recommends where to watch a launch on ClickOrlando.com. At Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.